Ladies and gentlemen, today we are talking about the life-changing Ubico Authenticator app, which is an alternative to Google Authenticator, which provides hardware and software security measures and a handful of huge benefits that make it the best two-factor authentication app out there. Now, if you like content related to privacy and security, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification button, because I've got plenty more of this content on the way. Now, right up front, I want to disclose to you in no uncertain terms that Ubico is the sponsor of today's episode, which is focused on sharing educational content about the Ubico Authenticator app and how it provides value to you. So let's start this out with what it actually is. What is Ubico Authenticator? Now, if you've ever signed up for an online account for a bank, social media platform, an email account, it's likely that you've come across the concept of two-factor authentication. It's basically an additional security measure that requires you to enter a randomly generated code, well, pseudo-randomly, usually six digits long after logging in with your username and password. It's really there to protect your account in the all too common case that your password is compromised and a hacker wishes to get access to your account. There are a few main different types of two-factor authentication. The SMS text message kind, which is terrible and should literally never be used due to the prevalence of SIM swap attacks, which I have more information on in another video, which I will link in the description below if you wanna watch after. Then there are app-based two-factor authentication mechanisms, which are sort of time-based codes with apps like Google Authenticator, which are much more secure in general than SMS because these codes are then generated on your device and not sent over the air in the form of a message. Finally, the holy grail of two-factor authentication is hardware-based two-factor authentication, which uses a piece of secure air-gapped hardware to manage your two-factor authentication accounts for logging into various services. Which brings me to the Ubico Authenticator app, which pairs with YubiKey hardware security keys to securely generate your two-factor authentication codes on both mobile and desktop. So the app is super simple. Actually, if you've used Google Authenticator before, you'll feel right at home with the Ubico Authenticator app. You scan the QR code or enter the secret from any website where you can add app-based two-factor authentication. And the only difference here is that you need to have your YubiKey plugged in or touched to your device if you're using NFC capabilities. Which brings me now to how this works. Here's why this method of hardware, having a hardware security key plus software is superior to software alone, like Google Authenticator. This all comes down to how two-factor authentication codes are created in the first place, which is by way of an algorithm that runs on your device to create a one-time use code. And that algorithm has two inputs, a secret value, which is usually what's encapsulated in that QR code when you scan it into your app, and time, basically the date time at which you're requesting this code. Both the storage of the secret and the calculation of the code occurs on your phone when you're using the Google Authenticator app, which is fine, but it also means that if your phone is compromised or you lose your phone without a backup of your underlying secret, you're totally cooked. You have to recover those accounts or worse, the secret that's required to calculate those codes could be stolen by a savvy hacker. However, with a YubiKey, the secret is stored on the secure element of the hardware security key, meaning it is A, not connected to the internet and susceptible to remote attacks, and B, it's not easily stolen, even if the key itself falls into the wrong hands. Therefore, when you plug in or tap your YubiKey device to your phone or your computer, depending on the model that you have, your code is generated for you in combination between the app and the YubiKey hardware. So the Ubico Authenticator app provides the YubiKey with the current time for that algorithm. The YubiKey then uses this along with the secret key that it stores, the secret we've been talking about, and it generates that one-time code and returns it to the Authenticator app, which shows it to you and allows you to copy and paste it on whatever website you wish. The added benefit here is that instead of your two-factor authentication codes being tied to your phone, you can securely generate your two-factor authentication codes on pretty much any device, which is something that I do fairly often. If I'm out somewhere and I don't have my phone for whatever reason, I always forget my phone, I can use my wife's phone. I can tap my NFC YubiKey and get my Amazon shopping two-factor authentication code at any time. For those who want maximum security, you can also add a password protection layer that prompts for a typed password before calculating and displaying 2FA codes when you plug in or tap your YubiKey. 
just for those folks who really want a little extra layer of security. So now that you have a general idea of what the Yubico Authenticator app is all about, what value it has, let me show you how it works to you, to the user. Note that the applications are available on Mac, Windows, Linux for desktop, and Android and iOS for mobile, so pretty much everywhere. And the newer 5 Series YubiKey hardware keys will give you the best bang for your buck in terms of compatibility with all these different devices across desktop and mobile with one single key. So let's go ahead and jump into a demo and I'll show you how this works on the mobile application. All right, folks, we're gonna do our demo here. So I've got my iPhone with the Yubico Authenticator app all set up and open. It's totally fresh install, but you can use one that's existing if you have it. I've also got a YubiKey 5CI, which has a lightning connector for iPhone and USB-C, which you can use, meaning you can use this on your phone and on your computer. I love this key. This is a fantastic one. I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna get one. I'm going to go ahead and add a new code to this brand new YubiKey. It's never been used. I'm gonna plug it into the lightning port on my iPhone. It says no accounts. I'm gonna to go to the three dots menu and hit scan QR code. This is how you add a new one to the device and you'll see I've got my Amazon account open here for the demo and I'm gonna to go to account, then login and security. And you're gonna see this option for two-step verification. Okay, so you're gonna click edit and we already know all this stuff because we already talked about it, 2FA, 2SV, all the same. Click get started and then go to the authenticator app option. No network connectivity required. This is key. It's using a time-based code, remember. So I've got this QR code here, which we're expecting, but to follow the strategy I outlined today, you're gonna wanna back up your secret. The secret can be found by clicking this can't scan barcode link below. See this long alphanumeric thing here? That's what you want. You wanna save that on a piece of paper, put that in a safe, put that somewhere secure. And you can also add this to a second YubiKey as a backup. I'm just doing the primary because the same thing applies to adding it to the other one. So save this secret. Once you've saved it, you're gonna scan this QR code. You're gonna see it pop up here. It's gonna be the issuer Amazon and it gives you your account name. You're gonna select save on the Yubico app. Now you see you've got this little window that shows how long this code's effective. You also have here the time-based code itself, that six digit code and the name of the account that it's for. So I'm gonna let this tick through so you can see what it looks like when it generates a brand new code and then we're gonna verify it on the Amazon page here. We got a new code, so that's 082636. We're gonna verify OTP and continue and you are done. All right, so pretty straightforward, right? It's about the same as what you'd experience with Google Authenticator, like I said. Let's dive into a couple of pro tips though for how to get the most out of this combo. So if you wanna to add to multiple YubiKeys, a question I always get when I talk about this app is, this is all great. Having a more secure two-factor authentication code that can be used across multiple devices, that's awesome. But what happens when I lose the YubiKey hardware itself? And this is a great question and one that I have solved for in my own setup for YubiCo Authenticator. So here's what I do. The key to this, pun intended, is during the process of adding a new 2FA account to your YubiKey, which is the same way you do it with Google Authenticator, remember? You scan that QR code or you type in the secret manually just with the YubiKey plugged in or tap to your device. Okay, it's very simple. When I'm first loading a new two-factor authentication secret from a website onto my YubiKey via the app, instead of just immediately confirming the code on the website, I'll write down on a piece of paper that secret value that I need to calculate my codes, remember? And then I will add that same secret to a backup YubiKey. So a second YubiKey, actually one that's just still in the packaging, right? An NFC one still in the packaging. Then after I have all this backed up on paper and a second YubiKey, I confirm the code on the website that's generated on my Yubico Authenticator app. And then I put both the paper with the secret and the backup YubiKey in a safe place. This means that if I lose my primary YubiKey for whatever reason, I always have a backup with all my codes already loaded in and ready to go. Because whenever I add a new website to my primary key, I also add it to my backup. And if for some reason I've managed to lose both my primary and backup key, I can always rely on that paper backup I have for each website so I can manually populate a new YubiKey with the secrets for my two-factor authentication. With this strategy, you're protected from accidental loss of your YubiKey devices and the added benefit of a paper backup, which I'd recommend anyway, as long as you can keep it safe, right? Don't leave that sitting on your desk at work, for example.
Also note that some web services like Google also have the option to print out one-time use backup codes, which you can print out and use just in case you lose your key on the go. So add a password to your YubiKey. This is another question that I get all the time. Should I be adding a password to my YubiKey on Yubico Authenticator? And I mentioned this in passing earlier. Those who are extra security conscious, or those who feel like they're likely to leave their YubiKey in a place where it can fall into someone else's hands, like on a keychain at work, then you'll probably be well served to use the password protection feature in Yubico Authenticator. This simply requires you to enter a password before your device will allow the app to calculate 2FA codes and display them on screen. So this is just a great additional layer of security that prevents nefarious actors or those who might find your key laying around from using your 2FA codes. To set this, you simply go to the little bubble menu in the corner for configuration settings on Yubico Authenticator with your YubiKey plugged in or touched to the device. Then you go to passwords and then set password. From there, you will need that password to get your code, so make sure you remember it, but then you're done, and you've got everything all set up for passwords themselves, okay? So I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope it was helpful to you. I would highly, highly recommend that anyone who wants to give their banks, for example, or crypto exchanges the ultimate level of security for two-factor authentication codes to use this combo of YubiKey and Yubico Authenticator. It really is a great strategy for protecting your two-factor authentication-based accounts. And most of all, I want to wish you and your family a wonderful week and weekend ahead, depending on when you're watching. And until next time, cheers.